Hi everyone, welcome to the big lady of the small house channel and in today's video I'm gonna show you, well, I'm gonna start the experiment as I've got the seed pot, lots of seeds inside, I hope they're all okay because that's the self-pollinated the local hybrid that I bought about six weeks ago and it was already pollinated so I decided to give it a try and usually what I do, I use the floating method and this is what I get these are the four weeks since I floated the seeds. As you can see, there's, they were floating for about 10 days and now the leaves are growing and in a couple of weeks they will be represented to the big sun. So far it's, done, it's, the, it's staying in the half shade because this, the leaves are quite soft yet. But this is the normal way that I usually do. But today I want to experiment and I've got the set. This is for floating, this is for planting directly into the, this kind of greenhouse made of cake, uh, cake pot, uh, cup. My mother-in-law bought me some cakes, uh, or maybe uh, strawberry. Anyway, so this is the container that I, I'm using, recycling it. So it will be like a tiny greenhouse, the heat house. So I will plant the seeds inside. But so far we have to uh, see which ones of them, them are viable. So we've got six places to where the seeds, these seeds are connected. Just because there are lots of them, it doesn't mean they're all viable because there will be most of them might be without any uh, seed inside, as you can see. It's very easy to determine. It's when you touch it, you feel it. You see the little bump inside. This is it. That's the seed. So this one is can give. As you can see that it's moving around. So there's one. This one is two. Nice, nice and round one. Three and four. Some people suggest that you can float and then. The seeds will fall down. That doesn't work this way. The seeds will never float. Actually, if it floats, it means it's not really a good one. So this one is flat, but it's still some seed inside. So I'll probably use it, uh, plant it in a floating method. And just to make sure. So it got, it's got the uh, potential dust uh, because in the greenhouse, it might not have enough water to germinate. Okay, and this one is it's still okay, as you can see, yeah, that's fine, small one, and this one might have something, but I don't really, but still floating. So I've got uh, lots of empty ones. So this is a nice experiment, so people are, are always arguing that this method is good, this one is that not. So, what I'll do now, I have eight, nine seeds that are not so good. And I've got well, actually ten seeds that are not so good. And I've got eight the eight seeds that are perfect. The, the seeds are quite thick inside. So I'll give them a try. I'll separate them like this. So we don't make any exceptions. So we've got five that small seeds and four the big ones. And the same thing here. So I will give them this goes into the jar with water. Just a plain water, filtered or boiled and then cooled, doesn't matter. You might want uh, you might want to add some fungicide, but I don't really expect you to to need it because it's only ten days before you plant them. And we we'll got the experiment here. I'll just push them inside. Get, get, get the camera. I've watered it well, and we'll give them like this 
so that's five here and we got four here and we'll see how things are going I just want to slightly cover it with damp soil and cover the lid so it creates the greenhouse effect and well, I will return back to this in six days this is generally six days is generally where the root appears in the floating method I haven't tried this one yet but we'll see what happens okay so today is day 10 we have planted them at 24th of June and today is uh, July 2nd the floaters it's hard to see but I guess on this side there's one little root here and one appears here so the process has started the over here and you can see this tiny root here and it's easy to control which are, which of them okay there's a second one there's a one then second it's not the air bubble it's just the root itself and and we're looking at four at the soil planted nothing is happening here i'll just sprinkle it every day I sprinkle it with water just because it's very hot here 35 celsius and very okay once i get some root, uh, some leaves i'll obviously water it well but so far there's no need i just sprinkle the surface so i just keep the top I don't know one centimeter of soil wet it's enough for the root like this and I'll keep it and I'll see what ha what's happening in in a week time so 16 days have passed we as you remember we planted I planted nine seeds in the water there's one here with the leaf and then another one, two, three, four. So generally, there's five leaves, uh, five seeds that already have roots. And in the box here, nothing is happening so far. I keep watering it every day, sprinkle it, and. So today is July 10th, it's already 16 days as I planted, I floated seeds here and we have one with a leaf and another four floating with roots. I know it's self-pollination so probably it's a good rate that they are growing. So five out of nine is I guess it's okay for the self-pollination. I guess if it was cross it would be bigger because from my experience the self-pollination is not really is in an inbreeding and the seedlings may not be very good so so not right now we have five out of nine here and we have nothing happening here I keep sprinkle it every day like this So it's moist, imitating the natural habitat, the the mist and rains of South America. So as you can see, there's nothing happening here at all. Absolutely, the seeds are okay. They're not covered with mold or anything, but there's no movement. I'll probably wait for another couple of weeks until we get this ready to plant into the soil and we'll check with back with this one so the experiment the experiment goes on so I continue the experiment 
and if you remember the I've chosen the, the same ex exact amount of seeds same quality there were four good for five more or less okay and I've planted them both in water and in the soil in exactly the same amount as you can see there's nothing happening in the soil I might try and raise one of the seeds and see if so anything happens well nothing and if you remember the, 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 these are the fresh seeds so it's just straight off the pot and I water it every day I sprinkle it with water and so it keeps, keeps moist and here's the the water floated and as you can see look at that the perfect seedling which is just an ideal stage to be planted so this is what I'm gonna do I make the hole in the soil to fit the root and I carefully place the seedling inside and push the soil just around it the soil is has been steam cooked as I would say so I just uh, pour the boiling water all the, the soil so it disinfects and kills all the po potential the infections and everything let me get the other one this one is already has very long uh, leaf it's hard to get look at that just look at that beauty a tiny root but it's okay so we've got nine seedlings here I carefully place the root so I don't break it and I'll use the same water to it from the jar to water it so it, it contains all the rooting ferments that the seed, seeds already issued that would help look at that it's perfect perfect root even though it doesn't have any leaf it will grow it easily in a couple of days so we'll continue watching this box and that one for sure so I'm really interested because well, it's just a pity that to lose those nine seeds even thought as a self-pollinated no no hybrid name and still they're alive so this one is done and I guess I'll we'll have to pour out some water and yeah, there's one one came out by itself there's plenty of space for nine seedlings here for one year this pot is about six liters which is perfect for, for seedlings they can grow nice seeds without any restrictions till spring and after that I will report them into individual pots this one came out as well one and two this one is already planted himself hey camera so this one planted itself in the hole directly I'll make this one just look at the at the seed inside, inside that all the it keeps the all the nutrients the seedling needs and there's one more here with a leaf so we've got one two three four with a leaf that's the ones that were thick and healthy so I'll insert it into the middle and I've got five without leaves they are rooted lately lately but they're still there okay they're alive and give them some water that they have grown in so it's like you're still home 
to get all the nutrients. And I will continue watching and comparing. So it's uh, 24 days and we already have leaves in the floated method, floated style, root, uh, rooting, growing seeds. And 24 days, nothing here, nothing. Not even one tiny root, absolutely nothing. They will probably stay another week or two until they start germinating. But as you can see, I'm not really sure if they will, but definitely the floating method is the, is my favorite. And this is what I generally usually do, but I've never done the, uh, the tiny greenhouse method. I, I always use floating. So this, and I will definitely will continue using that because nobody will tell me that the greenhouse soil is better than floating. So we'll continue.